What's up, true believers? Welcome to Comic Book Trailer Day. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Renee here. So this morning, we got treated to the new Madam Web trailer for the new Madam Web movie coming out by Sony Pictures next year. But we don't have to wait that long for something new comic book related because in December, we are getting treated to season two of Marvel's What If? If this was a great animated series when it came out and I enjoyed season one thoroughly, I thought it was really well done. I really loved the animation style and I thought the stories that they told were really, truly fascinating and interesting. I was always wondering how they were going to approach a season two and if anything that we saw from season one was going to continue on into another short story into season two. But I guess we'll get our first glimpse now and check out what is to be in store for us us this December for season two of What If. I'm excited to check it out, so let's check it out right now. It's a carnival. Quite a show. Ooh, Black Panther, nice. <clears throat> Wait, who is this kid? Yo. Are you sure you do not want any backup? I'm great with kids. Who's that supposed to be? This boy. Oh, what, who's that? Is that another Captain Marvel? You thought the story was over. Ah, oh, Jeffrey Wright's voice is. Oh, snap! But it was only just beginning. That's Kate Blanchett. Yo, Nebula looks like Thanos, son. That looks crazy. Oh, I love. Oh, Shang Chi. Things have gotten a little twisted in the multi. In the multi in the multiverse. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. It's like Mad Max. Oh, here's your new video game. Marvel Kart. Who is this handsome dog? Oh my god. The animation still looks on point. I love it. Nine episodes. Oh, Shang-Chi, I love it. Yo, Odin? Oh, what's up with Hulk? Is that dark Doctor for Strange? For a long time. Oh, what is this? Wait, who is that? It's I don't think I can bear to narrate what might happen next. Who's the American Indian lady? Oh, Peggy Carter is like front and center here. What's up with that? Darcy, we got a code red. The Avengers Tower's been overtaken. On Christmas? Uh. What is this, Con Air? <laughs> no, wait, under siege? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that's not it. Hey, John McClane, focus. Okay, that's pretty funny. Wait, what? Nine days straight? Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run that back. By the way, I love the Christmas kind of holiday uh, feel to it. Unwrap one episode every day, nine days straight. Wow. Is that how they're doing it? Wow. Oh, this is like going to be like a must see TV event. OK, that was a lot of fun. All right. Let's let's uh, recap. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, season one was just a lot of fun and we didn't have to really worry so much about is this part of canon? What's being tied to what? Because the great thing about what if is that these are just offshoots. These are, these are just like alternate reality stories that, you know, you could have fun with and you could play with. And I love how sometimes it also plays on fan speculation and fandom of how they wanted things to turn out. And sometimes they play on that stuff. So that's one of the things I really loved about the original What If comic book series. There were always like these storylines that oftentimes were based off of conversations I've had with my friends. Here, they have a potential of tying certain things together from the first season. Now, we have not yet seen What If storylines spill into the actual main MCU universe timeline or whatever the case is. Of course, we had that speculation for a bit that the Dark Doctor Strange from season one was going to be the same Dark Doctor. Doctor Strange that we got in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, but it turns out not to be that exact 
that character. It was like a different version or something completely different that we got. But I love that we are getting some things that we've seen from season one here. Obviously, the Watcher is still around, but we got Peggy Carter as Captain America or Captain Britain, which we did see in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, you know, but I don't think that was purposely a tie from the What If series and all that. I think that was just them having fun playing with fan speculation. I mean, they had freaking Charles Xavier in there and basically all of them got murked in like minutes. But we have the Killmonger, Black Panther. You know, we have an older group of what looks like, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything. I don't know what the deal is with that freaking uh, MCU Mario Kart-ish type of scene there where you got like Gamora and you got Iron Man and everyone racing down what looks like a Mad Max craziness Thunderdome kind of situation there. So that looks pretty cool. And who is that little boy with the powers? Like, and who's the American Indian lady too? Like, is that Echo or is that something, is someone else? Like, I don't know, but it's all very fascinating and doesn't look like we have to wait that long for us to figure out what all of these storylines are. Who are they going to be introducing and what craziness are we all going to be talking about and watching when what if season two comes out so i'm thoroughly excited what say you are you excited are you looking forward to this season of what if coming out i know there's a lot of talk and speculation about marvel fatigue or superhero fatigue but when it comes to like animated shows at least that's something you can kind of like just sit down and enjoy watching and knowing again that more than likely what you're seeing is not going to be important or tied into anything that is happening within the overall arching Marvel Universe. So with that said, are you going to be looking forward to it? Are you going to be watching it? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to help spread the word, all you got to do is hit that like button. It helps out with the algorithm, helps this video get spread out and seen by like-minded folks like you and I, and it definitely helps with growing the community and the channel here. If you want to stay up to date with everything we do here and every video that we post, great way to do so is to hit that subscribe button and don't forget hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time a new video is posted up on here on this channel with all that out of the way i'm out of here for now until next time stay cool stay classy stay safe peace out y'all